live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE, covering Fortinet Accelerate 18. Brought to you by Fortinet. Welcome back to theCUBE's continuing coverage of Fortinet Accelerate 2018. I'm Lisa Martin, here in Las Vegas with my co-host Peter Burrs, and we're excited to welcome a CUBE alumni back to theCUBE. Please welcome Eric Cole, the VP of Advanced Solutions from Ingram Micro. Welcome back. Thank you, thanks for having me back. Yeah. I'm excited to be here. Yes, we're very excited. So tell us what's new. We talked to you last year at this event. What's new at Ingram? Tell us about your role there and the, the things sure. that are all exciting Ingram Micro. Yeah, brand new for me. I'm in my 20th year at Ingram Micro. I lead our security practice for Ingram Micro US, um, and I have responsibility for sales, vendor management, strategy and execution on behalf of our manufacturer partners. Um, it's an ever-evolving space. It's such a great space to be in. I love watching the news every day. You know there's going to be some big logo, but just as much fun as I have watching those, it's some of these small breaches that you don't hear about, and it's just fascinating. It's so much more exciting than virtualization. <laughs> <laughs> some might argue with that. So tell us about the partnership that you guys have with Fortinet. How has that evolved over your, your yeah, time? Yeah, so been at Ingram for 10, and I've been working uh, with Fortinet for, I'm sorry, been at Ingram for 20 and been with Fortinet for over 10. Um, back to when we signed the contract together. Just a, a very great partnership. They were our security partner of the year last year. Uh, good friends. Um, excited to see John Bove back leading channels uh, back to Fortinet. And you know, we both invest in each other's success. And so I think that's pretty unique. Um, Huge investment for them here, having an event like this. Not every company does it, but to bring everybody together where you can have you know, security conversations, get on the same page, it's extremely valuable. A huge investment and we're proud to be a sponsor. I'd love to, to chat about a little bit of the evolution that you've seen at Fortinet in the last 10 years. As we look at, you mentioned breaches, and I mean, there were some very notable things that happened in 2017. Right. How have you seen the evolution from them on a security transformation standpoint as it relates to your customers and digital transformation. Yeah, so I mean, it's it's something that we see every day from, you know, as you know, we sell, you know, to and through partners, but um, you know, one thing obviously is their breadth of solutions has expanded. Um, but, you know, also, you know, things that partners are asking us today is how is this technology being consumed? And in the face of digital transformation, that's a, a huge value point because ultimately we want to help our partners to, you know, architect recommend the right technology to solve that business problem, and then how do you want to consume it? How does your, want to, your client want to consume that? So I think that's one of the biggest you know, kind of trends that we're seeing right now. So as you think about where you've come from to where you are, and we'll talk about a little bit about where you think it might go, what were the stories you told about security 10 years ago? <laughs> and how it's, are they different you know, from the stories you're telling I, I about security today? I would say it's today? changed from my perspective because at Ingram, we have never ever been a services company like we are today. And so what I mean by that is we wrap our services, partner services, um, around the Fortinet solution to make it stronger. 10 years ago, I would say we were you know, living more in the traditional distribution role of, hey, how do we get a box from here to there? Certainly channel enablement, we've been doing that for a long time, but our offering of services to help drive demand is, is incredibly strong. You know, we work with Fortinet, for example, on their threat assessment program, and we have an engineer that can go and help our partners understand to do that. It's a huge partner ecosystem, and so we've got to help them, you know, with all those channel enablement efforts. What are some of the biggest security challenges that you're hearing, say, in the last year or so through the channel that your partnership with Fortinet can help address? You know, it, it's all around complexity and the, as you have likely heard, the, the shortage of you know, folks that can get out and do some of these services implementations. Um, there's incredibly high demand you know, for services. You know, we're serving a channel ecosystem of roughly 12,000 companies that are buying security technology from us, all with varying degrees of capability. And so you know, we've really got to help them understand, hey, how can we help you, you know, deploy these services, et cetera. So as you imagine then, the steps associated with helping the customer, the roles and relationships between Fortinet, yeah. Ingram, and your partners also must be evolving. So how is, as a, as a person responsible for right. ensuring that that stays bound together in yeah. a coherent way for customers, how are you seeing that changing? 
Well, you know, for, I, I, look, it's a, it's a three-legged stool. <laughs> you know, it's us, it's Fortinet, and it's our partner community. Um, and we're reliant on each other to go and be successful in the market. Look, we couldn't be as great as we are working with our Fortinet you know, channel ecosystem if we didn't have the support of Fortinet. The investments they make, the team that they have wrapped around our business, the team we've put in place wrapped around their business. So that's kind of what I'm seeing there. They shared a lot of momentum, not only in the keynotes this morning, but also a number of the guests that we've had on the show today in terms of what Fortinet achieved last year, 1.8 billion in billing, nearly 18,000 new customers acquired. A lot of momentum, a um, lot of numbers. I, love, I yeah. love that theme of the event today. So if we look at some of the things that, that, Kate, that were shared by Kenzie this morning, for example, like um, I mentioned the, the customer numbers, and, and even talking about what they're doing to protect um, 90% of customers in the global S&P 100 and then showed some, some big brands there. Tell us a little bit about the partnership and how you're leveraging the momentum of what Fortinet is able to do in terms of capturing customers. How does that momentum translate and really kind of maybe fuel Ingram and what you're able to do? Well, look, I mean, there's incredible demand in security today. There was a slide that they showed this morning and I think it was um, the perfect storm. I like to call the security space a beautiful disaster. It's a mess, it's complicated, it's scary. The threat attacks are you know, new and different and they're never going to stop. But you know, it, it again comes back to, hey, how do we work together to kind of harness this? You know, how do we go and you know, there's a great partner community here, lots of our friends are here, but they can't all be here. So we want to be able to help take that message out to our channel partners that we're not here. Things like that. You know. What are some, oh, sorry, go ahead, Peter. No, no, I was going to say, so, so Ingram, Ingram itself has changed. You said you now, are now introducing security, or you're now introducing more services. Right. So how is, uh, how is that, at what, how is security leading that charge to move from a, more of a product and a distributor to now services? Is security one of the reasons why Ingram's going in that direction? Um, it's one of them. I joked on virtualization, but there's a lot of services that we can wrap around, and I think, you know, obviously there's a high demand of services, and we will lead with Fortinet services and solutions where we can. We want our partners to lead with theirs, but you know, really we've hired you know people to go out and do assessments. We have a partner ecosystem where, hey, I can't get down to New Mexico to do an install. We have a partner network where they can tap into that and make sure that everything is installed correctly, all the features are turned on. You think about all these breaches that happen in the news, it's not that they didn't have the technology, they missed an alert, or they didn't have it all deployed. We want to be able to help our partners solve for that. Along the partnership front, what are some of the things that excite you about the Fabric Ready Partner Program and the announcements yeah. that they've made today? Yeah, love it. Um, look, Fortinet has built comprehensive end-to-end -end solutions within their Fortinet, I'm sorry, their, their uh, Fabric ecosystem. But they've also recognized that they can't do it all alone, and so they've introduced a lot of partners into that. And so, what's exciting for me, leading our security category, is hey, how do we bring new partners into our ecosystem too? Because it is a, differenti a differentiator for Ingram to be able to provide multi-vendor solutions. To have somebody you can go to to say, how does Sentinel-1 work with Fortinet Fabric? Those types of things, those conversations are happening all the time. Another, another thing that was announced today was uh, what they're doing with, with AI. Mm -hmm. so tell us a little bit about that and how, how are you seeing what they're going to be able to do with AI as an advantage for your partners yeah. and customers? Again, you know, the artificial intelligence, machine learning, it all goes back to making the technology easier to use. I, you know, I still think, you think intelligence, and I think back to you know, the human factor. Some of these big breaches, look, the threat actors are going to get in, but how you recover from a breach, um, I think if we could inject some artificial intelligence into some of these companies that haven't figured out how to, how to successfully pivot, you know, paying your hacker $100,000 to keep quiet is not the answer, um, but I think that you know, some of these machine learning things are going to make it easier. It's going to be easier to manage the alerts that are happening every day. So anything that helps eliminate, as they said today, the enemy of security is complexity, things that help to you know, discover these threats and remediate against them, all good stuff for our partners. On the enablement side, mm -hmm. one, we were talking with um, Channel Chief John Bove earlier okay. today yep. and talking about sort of this long history of partner-focused of, of partner culture yeah. at Fortinet. 
Tell us about that in terms of the enablement that you're able yeah. to glean from them and then pass on to your channels yeah. in terms of selling strategies, um, marketing yeah. to, marketing through. What are some of the, well, the things that you look, really we have from? an amazing team. John Bove, Kurt Stratton, you know, the folks that, that really spent so much time working with Ingram. And then we've built an amazing team. I think we have 12 people from our company here at this event um, to make sure we're making the most out of it. But, you know, if you've, we're at the Cosmo, they have secret pizza. Have you been there? Have you heard about it? No, secret it's, pizza. It's amazing, it's pretty good, okay. Uh, but, <laughs> you but, didn't bring any, I noticed but, that, but, but continue. I didn't, but it's not, <laughs> it, it's secret, not so secret pizza, but we have some secret, not so secret weapons. Jenna Tombalesi is an NSE 7. She's one of the highest certified uh, uh, engineers on the planet and she works for Ingram Micro helping to technically enable some of our partners. We've got a guy by the name of Will the Thrill Charland, um, and the Thrill is out talking to partners every single day, helping them to be more profitable, trusted security advisors, helping them through anything you can imagine from a channel, channel enablement perspective. And then, you know, just huge teams of people that we go to, you know, serve this big market together. Are you seeing any vertical specificities. Uh, when Ken was sharing some slides this morning, they were talking about, they showed some verticals um, from a kind of, of market share perspective. But I'm, I'm curious, some of the verticals that kind of come to mind where security is concerned that maybe are a little bit more elevated than some of the others in terms of risk or healthcare, right. uh, education and financial services, maybe Fed, yeah. SLED. Are you seeing um, any verticals in particular, maybe those that are really going to be kind of having to be leading edge where security transformation is concerned? They have to be. Think about healthcare and when their big ransomware attack hit last year, there's guys on CNN saying they had to postpone my surgery because ransomware hit. I mean, that's life and death stuff there. Um, but I don't think there's any vertical that's immune to what's going on today. So I think, you know, regardless of your vertical, you have to be prepared. You have to, you know, choose the right technology and choose the right partner to help you implement it. If you imagine where Ingram's going to go with this relationship, what kinds of things are you looking to be able to do as a consequence of a great strong partnership yeah. with Fortinet? Look, the, the way that companies want to consume technology is changing in this face of digital transformation. Once we work with Fortinet and the partner to recommend the right technology, and I mentioned this, like how do you want to consume it? Is it public cloud? Is it AWS or Azure? We have an answer for that today. Is it, hey, it's on premise, but I need some creative financing to help close this deal, to solve a budget constraint. We have an answer for that. There's several variations of that, but however that technology wants to be consumed, we have an answer together. So I think that's a testament to the strength of our relationship. And I think one of the words that I saw in at least one of the press releases was ad adaptability adaptability of some of the technologies, and even uh, John Madison was kind of talking about how you can sort of, how customers can go, I've got 20 plus security products, how do I start this fabric? And I, yeah. that word adaptability kind of jumped out at me as, what, how, do, how do you enable adaptability when your customers through the channel have so many technologies in place, and how does Fortinet help that well, adaptation? I would say, you know, they're, they're placing bets like we are on top partners that are going to lead with that technology. They've got to go be the experts in that field and really start driving that. You know, events like this help get everybody on the same page, understand the new offerings. I mentioned Jenna, she was locked in a room all day yesterday, all excited about all these things. She's been running around all day, but look, we've just got to help, you know, the channel understand what the new technologies are, what are the new offerings, and hey, how do we go solve that customer problem together? So are there any particular new approaches or tactics or techniques that you're using to get the channels to understand better? Um, I, I don't think that there's anything necessarily new. Um, we're all driving towards the same common goal. Um, you know, having a security conversation today is easier than ever before. Um, so, I, you know, I think we're, we're going to continue doing what we've uh, been doing. It's been very successful for us, but uh, that's, you know, what are some of the things kind of wrapping up here that you're looking forward to throughout the rest of 2018? We're kind of been still in the first quarter calendar. Yeah. Some big announcements from your partner here today. What are some of the things that excite you at Ingram yeah. about the, this year of 2018? Look, uh, it's it's a market that's you know <laughs> that's that's really ripe right now, and I think that when you talk about their new technologies, when you talk about the machine learning, there's a lot of these things you know, happening out there. It's just, look, we've, we've got a huge market. The, the potential is unlimited. And I think one area where we're really going to drill down this year is down market, it, it, you know, down SMB and mid-market, because they need enterprise 
grade, enterprise grade technology, and Fortinet delivers that and has a history of delivering that. So I think we're going to double click uh, down there together this year, and, and John and his team have been great around putting some programs together for us to go and tackle that together. Excellent. Well, we thank you so much, Eric, for stopping by theCUBE again. Thank you. Yes. Uh, and for sharing. I'll bring sharing. pizza next time. Please do. <laughs> All right. Yes. And maybe some beverages so we don't have drive. Of course. Yes. yes. So we wish you and Ingram the best great. of luck in this next year, and we look forward to talking to you next year, if not sooner. Sounds soon. good. Great. Thank you. We want to thank you for watching theCUBE's continuing coverage of Fortinet Accelerate 2018. For Peter Burris, I'm Lisa Martin. After the short break, we will be right back.